Hey everybody, Curtis here with another pedal board demo for you. This time it is my uh, Brady Case's flat board wired for acoustic guitar and electric guitar. The board is uh, 12 and a half inches by 26 inches for those that are curious. I'm going to be playing two guitars in this video, primarily this Elliott Tone Master and that Martin HD28. A Tone Master is going uh, into my Benson Amps Monarch Amp mic to the Sennheiser E906, and the Martin is going directly into the soundboard. So I'll let you hear the Tone Master right now quickly. <laughs> So that is the Tone Master going into the Benson. Uh, there's a little bit of compression on there, a little bit of reverb on there, hit the overdrives. I can add the delay too if I wanted to. I guess I should have done that to give you the full tour. Um, so this board, uh, everything comes through this Empress Stereo Buffer Plus. That's the heart of the rig. It is a, a multi-tool that does so many different things. There's a number of different modes on it. I am in a mode right now where I can plug in two different uh, guitars and they can go out to two different sources. So I'm using this to use this board for acoustic and electric, and then they share a loop. And uh, there's a few effects on this board, uh, the volume tuner, the delay, and the reverb that are in that loop. So I can use the volume tuner, the delay, and the reverb when I'm playing the acoustic or when I'm playing the electric guitar. Um, acoustic is, is coming out right here, going into the board. The electric guitar is coming out uh, right here, and it's going into the amp. Um, so essentially, uh, this is a Ernie Ball tuner modified by my friend Roman. He put a TC electronic tuner in the top of this pedal. Uh, fantastically talented guy. He uh, makes awesome demos on YouTube. Roman uh, Schnobel Tone are his demos. Um, so that's modified and it's used in the loop for both guitars. This is modified by DS Guitar Engineering. I made a demo video about it. It's basically modified stereo in, stereo out. Um, and then um, it also has the uh, this switch here doesn't operate the tap. The tap is operated by this here. Sends a BPM into the side of the alt cap. And this switch here is actually the favorite. So if I turn this on, little LED that was added right there turns on, and that's what I've saved as the preset on my alt cap. Um, it goes from here into this reverb pedal and then back into this side of the Stereo Buffer Plus. Now, I can switch modes. I can turn this off, hold down the stomp switch, switch between one of the other 11 modes, and uh, the other one that is sometimes used for me is I go mono electric guitar in out to two different amps, stereo. Sometimes when people do that, they have a lot of grounding issues. The noise issues come into, come into play. This has fantastic transformers in that that isolate those issues, and you can reduce the noise um, in either uh, the A or the B um, channel. So it's fantastic. Um, it's a very, very cool tool to use on your rig. I'm using it for acoustic electric board. You could use it uh, to have a stereo loop and isolate uh, ground issues and go to two different amps and have glorious stereo sound. So um, the, uh, the electric guitar comes in, goes through the compressor, the Klon Centaur, the blues breaker into the front of this. The acoustic guitar just comes into this and shares those effects. So I hope that makes sense to you. I'm gonna let you hear the Martin now. Um, and uh, and then I'll, I'll explain a little bit. This is a 2008 175th anniversary Martin HD 28V, so vintage uh, kind of uh, specs on it. it. Has a K and K Trinity system in it, so it has this microphone that you can see right here. And under here, there's a Pure Mini, and then on the sidewall here, the guitar, there's a circuit board that is the preamp that has uh, the, uh, the the little pots on the circuit board that I can fine tune the treble bass mid for each the microphone and the uh, Pure Mini uh, under saddle, um, uh, sorry, under bridge uh, transducer. So um, now the Empress Stereo Buffer Plus not only acts as this great uh, loop switcher, but it also mutes my guitar. So right now um, my acoustic guitar is muted. So when I unmute that, um, you can see that the little red LED uh, on the side right up here muted my electric guitar. So when I switch between guitars, that mutes it. My sound man doesn't have to. 
And now I can tune my acoustic if I need to. It's picking up uh, my voice through the microphone in it. I'll let you hear the acoustic guitar. And uh, I'll talk about, uh, I really just use delay and reverb on the acoustic guitar a little bit. So there's a little bit of reverb on this. I'll just let you listen. That's the Martin with just a little bit of reverb on there. Adds a nice little bit of ambience. Sometimes I uh, use delay and uh, and I, um, with acoustic guitar, uh, just sort of suits some of the songs that I play. Um, when I'm switching from song to song, I switch guitars and sometimes need to switch effects. So I toggle through my presets here, get the BPM that I want for the song that I'm playing. And if I'm using delay on it, then the delay gets kicked on it and then I, uh, I, uh, I play away. So I'll just let you hear. <laughs> So I can turn the delay off, I can turn the reverb off, and just give you the acoustic guitar. So that's just the acoustic guitar playing. Um, so that is the pedal board, really. Uh, the heart of the rig really is that Empress Stereo Buffer Plus, and um, it really does all the, the controlling that I want. It's kind of wired in that way. Uh, I can change the modes and run stereo up to two amps if I want to. Um, super, super happy with this pedal board. Um, I'm a rhythm player singing it at the same time and switching guitars. So there's, a, there's kind of a lot that I have to think about um, with lyrics and chords and all that. So I just wanted something simple and as compact as possible at my feet and that wasn't a distraction for me. So uh, so here we have it, uh, Brady Case's board, um, sinusoid cables, uh, screw and solderless from, uh, from them um, and uh, that are made by evidence. Uh, Zuma power supply. Um, Roman from Chernobyl Tone modifies that volume. I love it. Um, that's uh, original. This is original. Um, this is modified. And this is a uh, fantastic uh, stereo reverb from New Zealand. And um, that's a clock. It's 9.07. Um, I hope you enjoyed this demo video. Uh, like if you like, dislike if you absolutely have to. Please subscribe to my channel if you can. I do appreciate all the likes and comments and views and interaction. And uh, we'll see you soon with more videos. Thanks.